everyone. Welcome to Floss Tube number 141. I'm Dottie Stitching Scotty and this is one of my Scotty Striker. So it's so good to see y'all today and uh, welcome to a video about County Cross Stitch. Today we have a real treat. This is not my usual day but we have a shop tour of Hobby House in Pittsburgh, New York. How exciting and news about my retreat, Stitches Be Sweet with Jeanette Douglas. We're back again with Winston. I thought you might like to see both of them. You can tell Winston is so thrilled with being on camera. Hello, Grandma Jeanette, I hope you're doing okay. And uh, just, we love you very much. Now, let's get on with the shop tour. All right, first I rode, or I flew to Pittsburgh, New York and or Rochester and drove to Pittsburgh um, with my friends uh, and met Joanne and Maria. But I also met Christine, one of the viewers. Hi, Christine. Uh, it's good to see you again. Um, we had a wonderful time of shopping. We had dinner together in this wonderful, wonderful, I think it was like a Greek Italian restaurant and I can't remember the name of it. Ooh, but it was delicious. If you ever go to Pittsburgh, just go right across from Hobby House into that restaurant and it's, it's delicious. Okay, um, we went to, I was there for a retreat for Jeanette Douglas, as I said earlier. And I just wanna thank David and Kathy, uh, the shop owners for hosting this retreat. It was just wonderful, and they were very welcoming. Their staff was very helpful. Um, Sherry was just amazing, and the other lady, I'm so sorry, I can't, other two ladies, I can't remember your names, but you were very helpful also. I've never seen so much fabric and floss, but I'm gonna let you see that for yourself. Now, I'm gonna insert a picture <clears throat> of uh, the shop, I'm gonna insert the shop tour here. And I'm going to insert a picture of Christine and some of the other nice friends I met after I talk about the retreat. Welcome to Hobby House. Let's go in. <laughs>
Okay, wasn't that something? Wow. Okay, and floss, oh my goodness, all kinds. Okay, and the retreat was called Stitches Be Sweet. Isn't this a gorgeous sampler? And it's a compliment, let's see, it's one in a series that uh, Jeanette has done. And I um, can't remember the names of those. I think it's Let Joy In or something like that. I'm sorry, Jeanette. But um, I was busy paying attention to the instructions though. But anyway, she showed us how to do all these uh, special little stitches. She also showed us how to stitch over one. And she gave us this floss card and they have all kinds of silks. We had MPIs, dinky dyes, um, Gloriana and DMC. We just had two colors of DMC. All the rest is silk. Isn't that wonderful? And they're beautiful colors. Nice and rich. And the greatest thing was, look at the symbol she put on the card. So you don't even have to look at your uh, sheet. You know, like a lot of charts, you know, they have like the chart on this side. And then, or the graph. And then on this side, they have the stitches. And then you're like, well, you either have to make a copy so you can lay it down or you have to keep taking it off and turning it over. Mm, yeah. So this was fantastic. So if you're a designer, you need to do this. Okay. Then there was also a pillow here and then a little scissor fob with a sliding um, fob on it. So you make this DMC cording and you make it slide. And it is just amazing. So, we did it on 36 count. Um, oops. Okay, we Hang did on. it on 36 count Seraphim Fabrics by Laurie. And it's called Old Stationery. And we're doing one strand of silk floss over two threads of the linen. The pin cushion is 70 by 112. The fob, you have to stitch two, uh, is 33 by 34. And uh, the fob ends up to be two by two, and the pin cushion is approximately three and three quarters by six and a half if you use 36 count or 18 count. Um, we use Sol Dalger, uh, Dinky Dyes, Classic Color Works, Belle Swa, and Gloriana Threads, and Needlepoint, Needlepoint Incorporated Silk. So, um, <clears throat> I mean, I had never tried any of those that I remember. Um, and wow. Yeah, I see why everybody raves over the silks. They are just amazing. Just amazing. Well, she also gave us the finishing items. We got the interfacing and we got the chenille trim and the Lady Dots velvet for that. Then we got three cute little stitch uh, specialty pin set. This was created for Jeanette Douglas Designs, Stitches Be Sweet, from My Big Toe. Aren't those pretty? Then, <clears throat> Kathy and David uh, gave us, well, I guess it was Kathy and David. It might have been Jeanette, not sure, because it says, Jeanette Douglas Designs, Stitches Be Sweet, handmade by Jer Jersey Girl Stitch Company. Can I talk today or what? Look at these counting pins. It's got a little acorn. Is that not too cute? Just really, really cute. This is Teresa and Anna that own um, uh, Jersey Girl. So that was nice. Then, <clears throat> um, we also got <clears throat> as our um, gift, Okay. Instead of giving us a bunch of little gifts, they gave us a large gift. They gave us the Winterbury stitching box case. Isn't this just gorgeous? We all about, I mean, our mouths just hung open. Everybody's did. It was like, oh my goodness, these things are not cheap. And on the inside, it's got this nice little uh, area to put like scissors or whatever in. And then this little tray here to put your stitching tools, and then you can put your stitching in the bottom. I know Brenda and Laura have them, and uh, several other people have them, 
I never ever would dream of having one. I didn't even think to hope to have one because you know, I go on the cheap side sometimes so I can travel more. So thank you very, very, very much. Ooh, goodness, I feel like I'm uptown today. This is like getting a Cadillac or, a, no, it's better than a Cadillac. It's like getting a Lamborghini. Mm-hmm, yeah. All right, so thank you, thank you, Kathy and David. And thank you to Jeanette. And let me show you what I got stitched on my Stitches Be Sweet sampler. This was the first day, what we did. And it says, Stitches Sweeten the Soul. And it's got the uh, date at the bottom and your initials up at the top. And of course, she put JD for Jeanette Douglas. So we first started out stitching the border and she wanted us to stitch down to the acorns, which were a good ways down. And of course, I had to take things out. So, <clears throat> I got this much of the border done, just about like everybody else, and I'll put my little flowers in. And then we did the satin stitch for the acorns, and she showed us a really neat way to do that. She had an enlarged photo of an acorn to show us exactly how the stitches were placed. Now, I still need to fill in the middle of my acorns. I've not done that, but I did the outsides, just like she said, and then filled in the bottom. And there's there's 14 and two halves, which makes 15 acorns. So this is the width of the sampler. So isn't this beautiful? Just really, really enjoying this. So, um, but I did, I stitched on those acorns for two days and well, one day and one night. And um, I really, really enjoyed stitching on that. I was glad though that when the acorns were done but there's more stuff in there to do. So I can't wait to get to that. Then, uh, I decided I would start on this scissor fob because it was gonna be like a quicker finish. And I didn't get it finished totally, but I did get one half of it finished. <clears throat> there's a rose and an acorn, and I got the rose side finished. And I'm happy to say there is not one mistake in that. I ripped out a couple of times, but other than that, it's really, really fun to stitch. And then this is the border and the tops and the twigs of uh, one of the acorns on the next fob. And this is uh, one thread over two. So I'm looking forward to getting that one done so I can make that fob that slides. That'll be fun. And she said to make sure that you put scissors on the end uh, because if not, it will slide right out. <laughs> so I appreciated that tip. She gave us so many tips and she had like a good PowerPoint presentation. Um, everything was large. You could take pictures of her PowerPoint presentation. She had written directions. I mean, there's just all kinds of sheets here <clears throat> on... Uh, uh, there's an entire sheet of the entire design of Samplers Be Sweet, and then she's got it enlarged. She's got an alphabet. Um, she's got like enlarged uh, enlargement of the acorns and how to do that, and then the other um, satin stitch thing. And then she also taught us how to stitch one over one. So that was good. She gave us like little tips. So those are good to know. So anyway, um, I just had so much fun meeting everyone, and I'm going to stick some pictures here, and uh, let's see. Um, oh, and we enjoyed the stitch night. That was fun, uh, and Maria and Joanne, I just really, really enjoyed the time I got to spend with you. I've known them for a couple of years over a on a friend stitch Zoom, and they are just very, very sweet. They're sisters from Pennsylvania and uh, just a lot of fun. And um, I also enjoyed my time with Christine. We are kindred spirits. If anybody wants to know where my clone is, she's out there <laughs> in New York. Um, she would say something and I would think, gosh, I was thinking that. So we like a lot of the same things. We have ideas about the same things, the same views kind of scary. It's a good thing though. So we are definitely going to keep in touch. Joanne, Maria, and Christine and I. So um, I just thank you. Thank you for the wonderful time we had together. And I just wish it could have been more. But um, 
anyway, I'm gonna, I also went uh, to Lake Ontario and I uh, walked on the beach and then I didn't know Lake Ontario had a beach. There you go. And uh, then I went to the Erie Canal because I'd never seen a canal before and, and locks and things. And I thought that was quite interesting. I didn't get to see them shut and open and things because I didn't have that much time. But it was really great. And I went Christmas shopping <laughs> in, in a couple of antique stores and got some presents that would fit in my suitcase. Mm -hmm. Yes. And... Um, I went to the little shops in Pittsford and I'm going to put some pictures of that here. And it was just a wonderful, wonderful time. Thank you so, so much, David and Kathy. And most of all, thank you, Jeanette, for uh, sharing your knowledge and love of needlework with us. We really, everyone just really appreciate it. Me especially. And then I got to go home. That was interesting. Went to the airport and it was hurry up and wait. While they loaded 12, while they located 12 suitcases they couldn't find, which I understand, but I've never had to wait 45 minutes to locate suitcases. Usually they just take off and leave them. Well, <clears throat> my connecting flight was about an hour. Yeah, so I had 15 minutes to get through the Atlanta airport on the plane train to another uh, concourse. That was interesting. And thank you, thank you, Melanie, one of the ladies at the Stitch uh, Retreat, for helping me get on the plane train and keeping me calm because I was like, ah! <laughs> and <laughs> it was, it was kind of, I was just like a bundle of nerves. And um, anyway, it was wonderful. And I got to my plane and they were boarding as I got there. Then we hurried up and sat there for, oh, 20, 30 minutes. Then we finally took off. It was very bumpy and turbulent because the weather was bad. And then we landed. We had to wait a little bit to land because uh, they had a lot of planes in front of us. So then I um, <clears throat> uh, ran through the concourse, got on the plane train, ran through the concourse. Well, wait a minute. I'm mixing up. So then I'm on the plane to Asheville, okay? So then we get to Asheville, and of course it was a short flight, supposedly an hour, it was very bumpy. And so we go to land and I thought, man, we're coming in pretty fast. We just thudded on the runway. I mean, everybody was like, <gasps> you know, and then we just kind of bounced about eight times. And then he just slammed on the brakes or whatever it is that they do in an airplane. And we all just went forward. <laughs> And I was just like, thank you, Jesus, that I landed on the ground. Just hope he gets this plane stopped so I can go to more stuff. But anyway, I'm just thankful to be here. <laughs> so anyway, thank you so, so, so much. And I will have a regular uh, video this weekend. And I do apologize for missing last weekend. But I thought, well, I'm going to stick this one in because with a shop tour and everything and my babbling, it's going to go on forever. So thank you so much for everybody that watched. And I can't wait to see all my new viewers that said they were going to come and watch me. And thank you. And I'll see you guys this weekend. Bye-bye.